Welcome back, everyone. Sorry for not uploading for a few days. I was pretty sick this week, and unfortunately, L Shark decided to release a really bad patch while I couldn't make a video for it. So that was more heartbreaking than anything else. But today, I'm going to be talking about Dark Tide's new direction and why I'm really unhappy with this balance patch. There's some underlying factors that are being overlooked that are a lot more concerning than a nerf to the power sword. The real problem with this update is was the first step to removing what makes some weapons special with blanket nerfs instead of fixing broken bugs that make them overpowered. While we still have a massive number of broken blessing interactions and underperforming weapons that need to be brought up. So I'm looking at this from a damnation perspective because you can really bring anything into the lower tiers and it doesn't really matter. You're probably going to win unless someone's trolling or being toxic and i don't think there's room to nerf anything right now especially with perks and blessings being locked still because it just promotes dark tide to be more rng focused and these specific nerfs were only pushed because people cried on the forums but how they couldn't handle seeing people using certain weapons or just having fun there are some genuine losers in this community that are flaming people for even using the power sword or flamethrower and that's just ridiculous but what's even more ridiculous is that they ignored real feedback on how to fix the weapons and placated to gatekeeping weirdos. And it's something I never thought I'd see a company do, but L Shark really hit a home run on this one. And if you've been around for a while, one of the main things I say is don't let anyone gatekeep your loadouts. You should just focus on having fun with whatever your favorite weapons are by bringing a balanced build that enhances their strengths and compensates for their weaknesses. Because there's no built-in scoreboard and no ranked leaderboards. It's literally a four fun horde PvE game that some people are just taking way too serious. And you should be able to have whatever power fantasy you feel like, whether it's RPing as a Krieg with a shovel and a Hellbore, or a captain with a power sword and a bolter, or some kind of crazy space marine zealot with whatever you want to bring. It really doesn't matter, and I don't think anything should be nerfed until everything's fixed so there's a proper power scale in the game. It's something I brought up in the tier list, but most of the bad weapons are just bugged, and that's why they're terrible. And a lot of the good ones have bugs that are just making them overpowered. The current power scale of Dark Tide is literally a meme, so don't let any cringe lords tell you that you can't use anything. And I also get that people review bomb the game over it, and that wasn't okay either, because I don't think you should have a positive review of Dark Tide yet, anyways. And the reason is because there hasn't been a real content update yet, and there's such a horrendous RNG system that's still locked and is only in place to inflate playtime. The real issue with this update in particular is it's pushing more RNG and not fixing or bringing weapons up so they feel good to use. So let's talk about these power sword nerfs. The reason that the power sword was broken was when you had power cycler, it could bug out or you could force it to bug out and you could just have your weapon charged almost the entire game and you could get these ridiculously high chain hit combos, which I agree. That needed to be removed and I was one of the people that reported it because it was too ridiculous and it was just not fun. It was just stupid to see. But now it's down to three attacks, two in some situations with a very rare blessing. At least that's what the patch notes say. You can still swing five to ten times because they didn't fix the real problem with Power Cycler. Two things was never the issue and the game in the background is uploaded on the alt channel. You can clearly see that I swung five empowered swings with the Power Sword here, so... The real crutch that people are ignoring was the ability to just spam forever and not recharge, meaning it was a broken blessing problem. But now the base activation without Power Cycler is down to one attack. And in the process, this is gating what made the Power Sword fun and special behind the rarest blessing in the game. This weapon didn't need to be nerfed. It needed a game-breaking bug fixed and a total rework into an energy-based system instead of some lazy charge system because this nerf is purely targeted at making the game more RNG. And RNG is one of the most hated things about Dark Tide, so adding more is obviously really bad. So all the people super happy with the Power Sword nerf are happy for the wrong reasons, because even remotely accepting the way it was nerfed opens up way more opportunities for Fat Shark to just force more RNG into the game where it doesn't deserve to be, and it makes the weapons reliant on perks and blessings rather than them being a bonus. Everything should be good baseline and have a special role. Again, you should be able to use whatever weapon you want without feeling like you're holding your team back, but that's clearly not the case or goal right now. And a huge cope I see is you need god rolls to step into damnation. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. In December, we were using like grays, greens, and blues to clear it no problem. And we were just forced to get better at the game, but it was too hard for a lot of people. And now that it's way easier to get legendaries that are good, it opened it up a lot more. And that's a good thing because in some cases now, 
Weapons are twice as strong as they used to be, and that's just the push that some people needed to be able to do damnation. And you should want these bonuses to make the game more fun. But the more RNG reliant the weapons become, the less fun everyone is going to have, especially for casuals that are the backbone of every game. I mean, even I only got Power Cycler like two, three weeks ago from Milk, and I upgraded 70 something Power Swords Legendary without seeing it. But now you need Power Cycler to have the fun fantasy of the Power Sword. So this is a terrible change and the wrong kind of nerf. And before the idiots think I'm just complaining about the Power Sword nerf, if it wasn't clear enough, that's not the case at all. If you've been watching for a while, you know I do a lot of data mining, but that's hard for everyone to access. So let's take a look at Gain's Lantern that has a few unreleased blessings on the weapon list. A lot of these are going to completely change the meta of these weapons when they come out and force you to get them to make these things effective. But who's to say the next weapon that gets nerfed won't be entirely reliant on a blessing after they get done with it? And if these blessings are rare or hard to get, then you can quickly see how terrible that is for the future of the game. And after so many good patches in a row focused on including more people and making more loadouts viable this one's targeted at limiting what you can bring to the mission through rng power cycler and some of the other rare blessings are going to be almost unattainable for the majority of the player base and sorry to break this to the elitist but the lower the population of this game gets the less support it will have meaning less content than we already don't have so right now nerfing any weapon in any way that isn't removing game breaking bugs while there is locks to perks and blessings, is ridiculously bad and it hurts the replayability of the game. And one of the major issues is the crafting system is complete garbage. It feels like a gotcha game and gotcha games don't nerf because it pisses their player bases off to no end. A lot of people spend a lot of time or money on whatever the OP thing is and it feels really bad when that's taken away. And it's discouraging for the people that were working towards it too. But we have to put it in a little bit of a different perspective for Dark Tide. Imagine you spent so much time trying to get a godly weapon. Like let's say the best trauma staff anyone's ever seen. Only to find out some of its best blessings haven't worked since launch. Or another situation where you might have to make a second god roll of a weapon because of some random change to a blessing that got locked. It's just such a terrible feeling system that disrespects our time. And I've said this before, but if you're going to nerf things in a PvE game with no scoreboard or leaderboards without any way to track how they're doing, then you have to be just guessing. And the reason this update gets even worse is that it's the beginning of gatekeeping things behind ridiculous amounts of playtime that could be completely invalidated overnight. And there is no way to say that and have it be remotely good. Everything will be gated behind a rare blessing to make them feel good or even usable at a certain point if we keep going down this path. And nobody is going to play the game if it's like that. People don't even want to play this game now because of the RNG. And it's getting worse. But let's move past that and the power sword and take a look at not just the flamethrower, but burn damage in general now. So the flamethrower was broken because if you continuously shot something, you obliterated it. Side by side with the purgatives, you can still see the difference post nerf. This is pretty common knowledge as to why the flamethrower is so good if you actually used it in a game and reducing that alone would have been the perfect nerf. But they did get lucky and guess that reducing the amount of ammo would help because it lessens the amount of time that you can channel now. But the reason it's broken didn't get nerfed and it still deletes your entire screen. I used it in a few high intensity damnation games and the change only stops spray and praying and it pretty much plays exactly the same as before. The problem is it already required a good roll on its modifiers to be effective. Now it just requires a better roll. So again, another RNG focused nerf. And another thing to talk about here is the flamethrower saw two buffs since launch because the forums used to say it was garbage, then randomly swapped the saying it was overpowered. So it is pretty ridiculous to even think about listening to such a small 1% that has less of an idea of what's going on than the company that doesn't play its own game. Because on top of that, burning damage got nerfed for no particular reason. I don't know where the burning damage nerf came from. Literally nobody asked for this. Like, I've been flaming the forum warriors pretty hard here, but they didn't complain about burning damage. This was a pure L shark moment. And the problem with the overall fire change is it hurts Purgatos, Fire Shotgun, and the Infernus Blessings, which is just bad and it limits play styles. Purgatos didn't get massively gutted, but there was no reason to proxy nerf Soul Blaze. Nobody was raving about how broken Purgatos was. It was just fun to use and it had bad suppression. And again, the reason Purgatos wasn't absurdly broken was because it doesn't have this crazy high channel damage. But now you'll just see people using Void and Trauma more often. Honestly, this fire change just needs to get reverted and the need to nerf broken interactions. Like the Fire Shotgun infinitely shooting through 
everything on the map, applying fire damage to everything in front of you except the wall, which is why it's so overpowered. It wasn't just the fire damage, but I guess they at least they addressed the zealot bug, or I guess not a bug, but the ultimate supposed to give you more armor peen and let you melt crushers with like machine guns. Oh, also peen. If I'm making some people mad this video, I might as well make the most people mad as possible. And I know how much you guys love when I say peen. Nobody's ever mauled it in the comments about me saying that once ever, but I guess it is good that we can freely melt crushers with ranged weapons. I mean, I guess it's, it's fun, but the only other positive changes that we saw were the thunder hammer feels better to use and surgical is and now a usable blessing, I guess. And they fixed the frenzy fire bug. And again, they should be fixing bugs like that. There's so many things wrong with the game, like a ton of underperforming weapons or things that just flat out don't work that my stance is nerfing anything outside of removing those bugs that make weapons broken is a complete waste of time right now. And there really should just be a sixth difficulty added or like a free roam or whatever. That's something everybody's been requesting that makes the mobs harder so that you don't have to tune anything down because everything just gets aggressively more hard and then you have to buff weapons up to be able to deal with it. So this really is a terrible patch because it was purely focused on RNG and pleasing non-meta chasing forum warriors. Now, this is a group that exists in every game that usually gets ignored for good reasons because they just attempt to gatekeep people and make them feel bad about what they're using. And they refuse to use anything that's considered good and attempt to use extremely flawed logic to support one in 1000 situations where those things work and flame people using anything that they don't want them to use. They really don't know what needs to be changed and are literally only out to make the game worse. But usually those games are competitive games and this is, again, it's a for fun game. So it's very clear that this update was bad for the majority of people because not everyone has 10 hours a day to play Dark Tide to enjoy getting railed by RNG. It's honestly never been a game to put 10 hours a day into and it never will be if we keep going in this direction. Who cares if somebody wants to use it for a fun loader? It's a horde PvE game with no leaderboard. Just let people be OP and have fun. Then make the new difficulty and push us to our limits because that's what's fun is when things get ridiculously hard and everybody has to work together to beat it. If you look at Deep Rock Galactic, a game that listens to the majority of its people, it's thriving and growing and it's not trying to gatekeep a ton of people and it only forces RNG into like the top 1% when you get to it. But this is something Fat Truck has failed at since launch. And I get that some people think that 4K players is healthy, but it's really not when the game was set out to be an entire brand with action figures and hot sauces. If they want to nerf weapons, they need to unlock perks and blessings. And that should be what everybody should be pushing for, honestly, because the RNG curve is too heavy for everyone. New people trying to get into the game absolutely hate it. People who have played too much like me and probably most of you hate it too, like Having your things locked just feels bad and there's really no place for it to even be in the game when so many things are broken. So I'm probably just going to go back to bed because I still don't feel very good and I do hope you all have a great night.